15 Lessons Learned from Princess Diana's Death Princess Diana, the former Princess of Wales, led a humanitarian lifestyle. Her life and impact on society cannot be ignored or demeaned. Born on July 1, 1961, her family and fans around the world would have been getting ready to celebrate her 62nd birthday. Unfortunately, at the age of 36, the princess was taken away from the world. Her sudden death was a blow to many individuals, and many grieved the loss of her light. Although we mourn her loss, we must look at her exemplary life and learn from her. Keep watching to discover 15 lessons we can learn from Diana's life and death. 1. Advocate for Others Princess Diana was an advocate for the people. She was dubbed the People's Princess because she identified with their needs and problems. The former Princess of Wales had the unique ability to make her people feel seen and heard. In her words, We all think of ourselves as heroes in our own lives, but I'm more aware now that we have a responsibility towards the people around us. It's not just about me. It's very selfish to focus on yourself and not at least try to think about other people. That was the People's Princess. She connected with people of various ages and cultures, practiced active listening with children, and did not hesitate to touch an HIV patient without gloves. At a time when HIV patients were stigmatized and people thought the disease could be transmitted through physical touch, her actions were timely and effective against the myth. Princess Diana's words, It's important to show people kindness, because then you get it back in return. You've got to give before you can receive. We're confirmed with this letter at her funeral. Dear Diana, thank you for treating us like human beings, not criminals. From the lads at HM Prison Dartmoor, Daily Mail. 2. Famous people need privacy. People have a wrong notion about famous individuals. They believe that once someone is in the spotlight, every aspect of their personal life is open to the public. It was this wrong notion that fueled the paparazzi and led to Princess Diana's premature demise. She was not on an official assignment that day. Her divorce from Prince Charles ensured that her only ties with the royals involved her sons. She went to the Ritz for a private dinner with her boyfriend, Dodi Fayed. The paparazzi had no business with that location. Leaving the Ritz through the back door was an indication of her need for privacy, but unfortunately, the paparazzi and media officials chose to ignore the signals. Princess Diana still used her last moments on Earth to give us a lesson. Celebrities and other public figures have a right to their privacy, which third parties must respect. 3. There is no shame in mental health Many people focus on the glamorous life of Princess Diana, forgetting that she had a dark side. In a 1995 interview with the BBC, she spoke about her bulimia and feelings of worthlessness. Although she presented a bright demeanor to the world, Princess Diana was emotionally and mentally unstable. She said that she often came home from her official engagements feeling pretty empty, and that she felt immense pressure to keep her marriage together despite the couple's well-documented problems. I was crying out for help, but giving the wrong signals, and people were using my bulimia as a coat on a hanger. They decided that was the problem. Diana used her experience to free many people from the shame of eating disorders and other forms of mental health issues. Victims of bulimia benefited from the princess's vulnerability. During her time, there was a rise in bulimia victims, but very few people sought help. Fortunately, after Princess Diana shared her story, there was a significant surge in the number of people seeking help against bulimia. This was dubbed the Diana Effect. Her vulnerability initiated a nationwide discussion about the illness. Women who experienced bulimia identified with her and drew strength from her. Jane Mendel of Time writes, Self-disclosures, particularly of people in positions of power or visibility, can change how other people approach their psychological health. Researchers have found that knowing someone else with a mental illness can encourage others to get help. Notably, the princess's death in 1997 coincided with the beginning of the decline in bulimia incidents, researchers wrote in a 2005 study published in the British Journal of Psychiatry on time trends in eating disorder incidences. 
Identification with a public figure's struggle with bulimia might have temporarily decreased the shame associated with the illness and encouraged women to seek help for the first time. 4. Show up for others, and people will show up for you. The life of Princess Diana was a life of service. She lived for the people and brightened every room she entered. CEO World Magazine used these words to describe her. I don't think I'm very good at being royal. For me, life was about the service of others, and that will never change. When the news of her death reached London, a strong wave of grief swept across the country. The silence from the royal family was unsettling, and along with the flowers came cries of outrage against the queen. The public clamored for the lowering of the Union Jack to half-mast and the immediate return of the queen to Buckingham Palace from Balmoral. The queen's initial concern was the welfare of her young grandsons. Diana was no longer a part of the royal family, so the queen likely saw no need for a speech or the application of a protocol for a deceased royal. However, the public who mourned the death of their beloved princess forced the hand of Queen Elizabeth II. Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth arrived at Buckingham Palace a day ahead of schedule and saw the numerous bouquets at the palace gates while she was dressed in black. She gave her speech concerning Diana's death. The Union Jack was flying at half-mast in the days that followed the Queen's arrival, but it was a strong breach of protocol. Furthermore, Diana's funeral was not a concern of the royals, but the nation came together and insisted that the princess should have her funeral service at Westminster Abbey. For the first time, the royals could not ignore external forces because the people Diana served showed up for her when she became silent. 5. The ultimate price for excessive fame is death. The media and paparazzi could be described as Princess Diana's allies, but they eventually led to her death. Princess Diana's death taught us that moderation in everything is essential to living the best life. Poll reports show that Princess Diana was more popular than Prince Charles and the monarchy. That was not an easy feat to achieve. Her uncontrolled exposure to the public and her quick rise to fame set off a chain reaction that resulted in her death. She showed us what happens when an individual lacks guidance and support. Ultimately, her fame did not benefit her, and Diana Spencer would likely be alive today if that fame were controlled and regulated. So while many individuals desire to be famous, we must wonder if they can handle the flip side of that fame. 6. Heal from your wounds Princess Diana had a difficult childhood. Her mother divorced her father when Diana was six years old, and at that time, men had control of the power, leading Diana's mother to lose custody of her children. Growing up in a home without the warmth of a mother could be traumatizing for a young girl of six, and Diana grew up with deep-seated feelings of worthlessness and a fear of abandonment. Her marriage to Charles and his affair with Camilla Parker brought up those feelings of unworthiness and abandonment, which could explain why she chose to throw herself down the stairs when she was pregnant with William, because Charles did not give her attention. She was a six-year-old trapped in the body of a young woman. Princess Diana always put on a sunny facade to deceive people, but she struggled with low self-esteem, insecurities, and depression. People praise her mothering skills, but she did not create a healthy mental and emotional environment for her children. If the princess had dealt with her demons and adequately healed from her past scars, she would have handled things better. Notably, Princess Diana did not find a close confidant in her siblings or the royal family. All those who spoke about Diana's struggles were outsiders, and it seemed her immediate family, except the boys, was oblivious to the pain of this young lady. 7. Do not give so much that you harm yourself. Princess Diana was a great philanthropist. She connected with the people, comforted them, and sought solutions to their problems. However, she did all these at the expense of harming herself. The princess allowed her kindness and good nature to place undue pressure on her. Her adventurous feats were an indication of her kindness, but they also distracted her from herself. Princess Diana did not take care of herself, and the world experienced a great loss. 8. The Importance of Leaving a Mark Late Princess Diana was one of the members of the royal family which the public loved and adored. The public's affection for her ran so deep that even after her death, she is still remembered vividly and there is a spot for her in the hearts of many in the kingdom. 
This kind of deeply rooted affection can only be achieved after spending a long time with someone or a group of people and leaving a good yet strong impression on them. And Princess Diana can be said to have done these two things before her death in a car accident. Even though people affiliated with the royals through marriage have to relinquish the title behind their names after a divorce, the masses still chose to retain the late princess's title whenever they want to refer to her. This decision was made by no one in particular and can be said to be an unspoken rule accepted by all, a feat many in the royal family have failed to achieve. Princess Diana can be said to have left her mark on the world, and she is a good challenge to everyone who would like to be remembered strongly even after death. 9. Self-Improvement The tragic story of the princess shows the need for personal or self-growth and improvement when facing public and personal life. After improving oneself to a particular level, it's easy to reduce the amount of worry that comes with the challenges of life. It could be said that the late princess was always in a state of turmoil due to her relationship. To the outside world, she would smile and laugh with members of the public, but when she gets to her comfort zone, she shows how she truly felt. This turned into a traumatizing event for her sons, especially Prince Harry, who sought out his mother's attention. Self-improvement comes in various ways, however, it all begins with the first action to take control. Princess Diana took that step with her separation from Prince Charles. However, it was a little too late, as the damage had already been done to her children and even to herself. However, the saying remains, better late than never. She was already on the path to recovering and improving herself when the tragic accident that led to her death occurred. 10. Be considerate of yourself While self-improvement is an important factor, personal care is also very important. Self-improvement stems from facing challenges and getting over them while using them to grow into a much better and stronger person while self-care is looking after oneself. It helps to identify what changes are going on within a person and whether those changes are good or not. Princess Diana neglected to take care of herself as she was almost always after the public's heart and when she had time to herself, she would worry about her marriage. On one side, one could say she was very caring, but looking at it from another angle, this made her not look into herself to know what dangers she was facing emotionally, because after giving out her time and energy to the public and her marriage, there was nothing left for her. Personal care is very important to an individual's health. Taking time to go on vacations, visit places, and even just spend quality time outdoors helps an individual to clear their mind and relax the body. This further helps to make tackling problems easier as they can be seen from a wider view. 11. Consequences of Choices Every one of our actions and decisions has consequences. While the consequences of some of our choices may be small and others big, they might come late and other times early. Princess Diana faced a lot of consequences for her decisions, and it could even be said that she made some bad decisions. Sadly to say, her agreement to Prince Charles's marriage proposal can be considered one of the biggest consequential decisions she made. This is because the time she was officially married to Prince Charles can be said to be the time when her problem started. Princess Diana found out about the affair between Prince Charles and Camilla Parker, Yet she did not call off the marriage and decided to endure it, hoping the affair would come to an end. However, things did not go as she thought, and the affair continued. This eventually led to her cheating, another bad decision she took. When she was exposed, she decided that she would not go down alone, and she also exposed Prince Charles's affair with Camilla. In the end, the consequences of her decisions kept hitting her until the time of her death. All these could have been avoided at the early stage of the marriage. 12. A Call to Public Safety The death of the princess was a call to the need for public safety. On the night of her death, she had wanted to leave the hotel where she had dinner with her lover. However, the press had already blocked the front of the hotel and she had to follow the back to avoid their cameras. Getting into the car with her lover, the driver drove off and it resulted in a car chase between the princess and the press. A study in the early 2000s said that the driver was drunk and wasn't in a state to drive them that night. However, there was nothing to be done as the chase had started. 
Sometime later, the car rammed into an oncoming vehicle, leading to the death of the princess, her lover, and the driver. If she had just walked out the front door and not answered the press's questions, she would have escaped that night. In the end, however, it's still on the press. If they had just let her enjoy that night in peace without looking for a good scoop, then she probably would have lived that night. It all could have ended differently if the factors had just been changed. 13. Building Stable Mental Health While the princess might have looked okay on the outside, she was battling against some psychological issues. She had announced that she was suffering from bulimia, which was an eating disorder where she would eat and later throw up what she had been eating. Excessive concern over her body weight was another symptom. She also announced that she suffered from postnatal depression. This announcement was made when she was out to recognize mental health issues and show her support to its victims. It is not known whether the princess overcame her mental health issues, but she never gave up on her fight against them, even until her death. While still battling her problems, she still supported a lot of charity organizations and also showed her support to other victims of mental issues. Princess Diana was a beacon of hope to many people suffering from various mental health challenges. 14. Participate in Salient Social Activities The late Princess Diana was one of the pillars of social activism. Of the many things she did, one of the most notable was the reduction of the stigma that HIV-AIDS patients faced. This was done when she showed that the disease cannot be spread through physical contact. She had engaged a shake with an HIV patient and shocked the world when she did not contract the disease. She also fought actively against domestic violence and mental health as well as show her support to its victims. Her area of influence was not constricted to only the British, but she had gone to different places to ensure her voice could be spread widely around the world. These acts of hers ensured that even after her death, there would still be more people who would continue her job of activism as she had inspired a lot of people. 15. Accepting Various Cultures Princess Diana's work of activism around the globe could only be achieved if she was open to accepting various cultures of different countries. If she had shunned the cultures of some countries, she would not have been able to spread her influence far, but she had accepted the culture of the various countries she went to. Traveling around the Americas, Africa, Europe, and many other places, Princess Diana saw the world. This was one of the reasons why her work of activism was recognized largely by many people. This also earned her nickname as the People's Princess. Along with her acceptance of various cultures, the late princess was very open to people, including the people who suffered from public bias, whether due to their skin color or unavoidable situations that they found themselves in. Her actions caused a lot of people to come to honor her on the day of her burial, and a lot of heart-melting messages were left. Do you know more things that can be learned from the life of the late princess? Let us know in the comments section below.